Hi everyone, this is a video about how to make a two-way table or contingency table in StackCrunch. So I'm using uh, the tit Titanic uh, data set here, which is in our class materials. Um, it is a data set about every single person on the Titanic, all 2,201 of them, okay? Based on whether they were a man or woman, first, second, third class or crew, adult or child, and whether they survived or not. So let's say I wanted to um, think about the question of if children were more likely to survive the Titanic than adults. You know, they say women and children first, so can we find evidence that the children were uh, perhaps put on lifeboats uh, sooner than the adults and perhaps survived at a higher rate? So the two-way table I want to make is going to uh, compare the age variable and the survived variable. So I'm going to go to stat and then to um, table, contingency. Contingency to table is another word for a two-way table. And then click on with data because we have data, not, not summary data. Um, so it doesn't technically matter which variable I put in the row or the column. Uh, the variable that if I'm doing an analysis and I'm thinking about an explanatory variable, um, then I tend to pick that as my row variable, but you don't have to. Here I want to know if being an adult or a child has an, an effect uh, uh, or can explain whether they survived or not. So that would be my explanatory variable age. Um, so I'll put that in the row. In my column, I will put uh, survived. And then I will just hit compute and you will see the table. That's it. So rows, age, columns, survived, adult and child, yes and no. <clears throat> um, and then the totals, right? So these two numbers represent the column totals. These two numbers, 1490 and 711, represent the, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, these two numbers represent the row totals, 2092 adults, 109 children, and then 711 is the column total here. 711 people survived, 1490 didn't survive. So from this table, oh, and then 2201 is the total of everyone in the data set. Um, so this table here is enough to uh, make any calculation we want. Um, if we are interested in the original question of if adults, or sorry, if children were more likely to survive, like I said, the explanatory variable is the child. I'm going to say the, the, the age, so child or adult. So I'm going to compare these 109 people, to the children, to this 2,092 adults. Meaning in my calculation, you want to make sure that 2,092 and 109 represent your denominators, right? And so, for example, 654 out of 292, uh, 2,092, and 57 out of 109 would give the percentage of each age group that survived. Um, so you should always do this by hand, so you practice it but StatCrunch can do the calculation for you. Going back to edit, I can display row or column percent. Those are pretty much the only two that you will, you, we tend to need. The row percent will give me the percentages relative to each row, which is what I want in this case, because that's where my explanatory variable is. The column percent, <coughs> excuse me, would give me the percentages relative to the columns, which I don't want in this case, because that is not the variable I'm comparing. So row percent, compute, and there we go. There are my percentages. Okay. And notice that they add up to 100% in the rows. So it looks like 31% of the adults survived compared to 52% of the children who survived. So it does seem to be evidence that children were more likely to survive by uh, a significant amount. Uh, about almost uh, over 20 uh, percentage points. <coughs> okay.